today we're going to talk about something very personal, our smiles. And we're going to talk about something very uncomfortable, braces. Who has adult braces? I do. You do not. I don't yet. <laughs> I'm excited to get them, obviously. <laughs> I have adult braces. I didn't think um, two years ago, five years ago, that I would have it, but I do. And, um, and it's a lot less scary than I thought it would be. I had braces when I was a kid, but I got lazy and didn't wear my retainer. Um, and then when I was in college, my wisdom teeth started to come in and crowd my teeth. Pushed my teeth to the front, made me look like a beaver with like this sore thumb tooth that stuck out. Um, and I was super self-conscious over the last few years. I would always just uh, make sure I know my angles I'm taking pictures or even talking to people um, just so that they don't look at my teeth. It's insane like how self-conscious you can feel with just um, with just like a couple centimeters difference in how your teeth look and how they align. Um, it really makes a big difference in my smile and I think especially going from having like a really great um, perfectly aligned smile in the past to to what it was just uh, just a year ago it was really it was really tough on my like self-esteem <laughs> and I know you want braces I've always thought that you've you have an amazing smile so, like a super big high wattage smile um, that's what I fell in love with so it was really surprising to me to hear that you really want braces, but I get it. It's just like me, where I feel like maybe you wouldn't really notice the difference in my teeth, but you're your own risk, worst critic, so. Super true, my best friend said, hey, you don't need braces, what are you doing? <laughs> she keeps telling me, I don't, you don't need braces, your teeth are fine, but if it's not fine to you, you know, it's a really personal thing. Yeah. You see your smile every day, and you should feel like you can share your smile with the world. I didn't get braces when I was a kid um, because I didn't want them to file down my teeth, which thinking back now is a really dumb reason not to get braces. But now I have the opportunity to get adult braces and I've wanted this for years and years and years because I hide my smile, I don't smile in photos, I only smile if there is flash photography because I've found that's my trick, that the flash makes my teeth look perfectly white and straight because it, you know, blinds it, blind, blurs the lines. But my smile, I just can't stand my little jagged teeth here and there, whether like they're very noticeable or not. I want a perfect smile. I want to be a part of the perfect smile society. We so. want to get to the point where we don't have to think about the angles and think about the tricks right. uh, whenever we flash a smile. This is really important, especially in her line of work and um, you know, I guess sort of in my line of work in helping her uh, create honey and silk. Um, but it's just a big step for us, I think, together, you know, um, personally. And we've done a ton of research on how to get this done and how to do it right. And we've found, I think, the most incredible person and practice in which to fulfill our Invisalign dreams. <laughs> so we're really excited. We're going to work with the top, top, number one, uh, best, most awesome Invisalign specialist in all of, I would say, California, the West Coast, yeah. the world. Definitely at least Los Angeles. Yeah, definitely at least Los <laughs> Angeles. Dr. Yana. Dr. Yana. Not only is she like literally the best at Invisalign, she's the most amazing person in the world. I mean, she's so friendly, like we are like instantly best friends. So it's a treat to actually go to her office and visit her, not only for you know, our Invisalign, but just to go hang out. Especially, you should see her incredible penthouse, um, penthouse office. You will see her incredible penthouse office as we share this story with you. She's so good that other dentists go to Dr. Yana to help them with their patients and their Invisalign treatments. Yeah, I actually started Invisalign um, about six, seven months ago. And I'm working with another really great dentist um, who's a close friend of ours. And Dr. Yana actually advised um, 
my Invisalign case. So she's basically my Invisalign fairy godmother. <laughs> That's awesome. But we're really excited that she is going to start Kyle's Invisalign case from start all the way to finish. And we're just going to go on this journey together. He's been with me over the last six months. Um, he's been seeing me take out my trays and clean in all the crazy little quirks that go with having Invisalign. So I'm sure it's really interesting and I'm really excited to, to kind of just I don't know, hold your hand and go through the process, even though it's super easy and uh, and chill. Nothing, there's nothing to worry about it. It's not scary, <laughs> yeah. It's been yeah. fun watching her go through this experience and I can't wait to share the experience with her. And of course, we can't wait to share it with all of you. We're gonna head out to Dr. Yana's right now. Her office is in Beverly Hills, right over Rodeo Drive, so I'm gonna do a little shopping afterwards. Um, but we're gonna go get his impressions done. First step in business line out and about today. Ready to go? Can't wait. Okay, thanks guys for watching. Uh, stay tuned. Say bye. Bye. Bye, Sammy. Do you like our smiles? Yes? Sammy, do you want to get Invisalign? Do you want to get Invisalign? I think that's a yes. <laughs> Sammy! Say bye!